Okie dokie. Time to sew again. Now let's get you started with a couple simple little patterns. I'm going to just go ahead and put these JPEGs up on my site so you can copy them for yourself. But you can always write or draw your own lines. Now with this one, I'm concentrating on the turns going straight. Straight can be difficult when you're first learning to sew. I often think of learning to sew as driving a car. You've got your foot on your pedal, that controls your speed and you want to go real slow at first so you understand how to make those turns and those curves. That's your gas pedal and you're guiding your thread to the destination. When you get to those really sharp corners, what I want you to do is just stop and use your wheel to put down the needle, turn, and then put the needle back in in the right direction, and then go for a little bit, really slow, and then turn again. That's going to help you. These are the type of things that you learn in Home Ec. They have you practice on paper. If you want to do it on fabric, that's fine. And these are really good beginner lessons. I also have the curves. To do curves, you want to go really slow. Now, once you get into making clothes, you're going to find that you even want to go slower than that because you're dealing with two different shapes of fabric connecting to each other. I am personally a dive into it person. So when I want to do something, even if it turns out like crap the first time, it's a learning lesson. So if you're anything like me and you're not scared of wasting a little bit of fabric, buy yourself maybe some cheap fabric, go ahead and cut yourself out a nice simple pattern such as a little square now once you have your square the most important thing to do and remember when you're first learning to sew is to put the good sides in See that? Good sides in. Sit it together. And then you're going to also have to remember to leave an opening. Just sew along the edges, leave your opening, and then you could flip it inside out. Okay, I'm going to put a pin in here so you know that this is the end point. And you're not going to go past that when you're done sewing. I'm going to put a pin right here. And that's where you're going to start sewing from. Just going to put it in. And you can begin the sewing. I would do a little back stitch just to secure it, but just a little one. You know how to go in reverse, right? Mm -mm. You hold this down for just a second. Go forward first. You press the button? Yeah. Your foot pedal. Go forward. Uh, no, no. Okay. Now, how did you do the curve? How do you do that? You put it down. Put the needle in. I would put the needle on so you secure it better, but that's fine.
fine. Put it down. So you're going to watch that the edge of the fabric stays on one of those lines. Okay, go a little bit more. Yeah, go ahead. Take that out. Okay. Now you can go backwards. No, 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 no. You don't have to do that. Just go backwards. See? Now go forward. Okay. Just a little bit when you go backwards. Not that. See, see? That is fun. And you turn it inside out, just like you turn a pillow inside out and do it right there. No, you can't throw it out. You take it out gently so you don't rip the seams. Boom, boom. Firepower! This side's folded in, that side's folded in, all the edges are folded in. You have to finish it off. So it's pretty. And now, you can just start sewing it. No. I'm not doing it. Cece. Boom, boom, firepower!